Join the heroic legion of Patreon subscribers today! You could get your name in the credits, early access to new episodes, request your favourite game, movie or anime to be reviewed, or even be in the show yourself. Sign up at my Patreon site. I'll see you there! about today's subject, and until I'd received this request, had resolved never to view it at all. Why? Well, let me introduce you to today's subject, Battleship. Released in 2012, Battleship is a movie based on the classic board game, but with an extraterrestrial twist. An alien fleet invades by sea, and only a reluctant naval officer and his crew can stop them. Receiving generally negative reviews, could I be mistaken? Can this movie actually be an unexpected hit? There's only one way to find out. So without further ado, esteemed viewers all, I give you the 2012 movie Battleship. It is the year 2005, and NASA has discovered a human habitable world, far in the depths of space. While on Earth, a drunken wastrel attempts to impress a girl. I will get you your chicken burrito. This sozzled dunderhead is our hero, and the next hour of his life is not going to be very pleasant. Observe! Sadly, he's just too late for the mini-mart. Engage Stealth Mode. Which goes about as well as you'd expect. There's nowhere to win. Well, he's determined at least. Tasers hurt. Believe you me, I found out in training. That's only a one-shot story. Buy me a shot sometime. But our protagonist's brother has had enough, and signs him up for the Navy. Cut to seven years later, and our protagonist won. Alex Hopper isn't exactly enjoying Navy life. At least he's dating the Admiral's daughter, which comes with problems of its own. You've got skills, but I have never, ever seen a man waste them like you. Wasted potential. It's never a nice feeling to have to face up to it. I see far too much of it in my town already. Problems which pale in comparison to the incursion of extraterrestrials, mind you. <laughs> Reminds me of the Siege of 06. Weren't a whole lot of them either. Just goes to show what you can do with a determined team of ninjas. And precisely how much the base used to rely on its automated security. But we won't go into that. I'd hate to give anyone else ideas. Hopper leads a team sent out to investigate an unidentified object. And our hapless hero only goes and activates it. The Navy ships attack, but the aliens are too powerful. Chuck Wagon. And Lieutenant Alex Hopper receives a field promotion that he never would have asked for. Now, while there are survivors, Alex's brother Stone is not among them. I'd have a moment, 
but he doesn't really cast a shadow over the rest of the film, so let's just move on. Theo Nexo are dead. Who's in charge? You are. And while revenge is the only thing on his mind, sanity prevails. March starboard. March starboard. I Cast iron rule of command. Take advice. Also, rescue survivors before exacting revenge. I would cite an example, but the only one that comes to mind right now might still be classified. And so we discover exactly what our extraterrestrial antagonists actually look like. Much as I hold to the belief that nobody is ugly, that only extends to the human race. Aliens ain't pretty. But this one's not quite dead. And within moments, he's causing trouble. Captain Hopper leads it on deck, where it meets a rather grisly fate. Ooh, nasty. Ladies and gentlemen, the first ooh nasty of the season. And so our fateful vessel, the John Paul Jones, finds a new way to uncover the enemy via Tsunami Boys. Actually putting the game of Battleship into the film? You'd think I'd be less tolerant of this, but it is actually a legitimately tense scene, played without a trace of irony, and it works. No, I'm serious, it's very good. And we finally get a few licks in on those malevolent maritime mother crushers. But there's a third ship, which will require a different strategy. You see, the third little fish was wriggling about all over the place. So they decided to lure it east, seeing as how these bug-eyed monsters don't like sunlight. Then they'd shoot out the little fish's windows, blinding them. And so the aliens fall into the JPJ's trap, and their third ship is destroyed. Sadly, the alien counterattack sinks the JPJ. But our heroes aren't beaten yet, as the mighty Missouri is brought out of retirement for one last glorious battle. And what a battle, as the alien mothership squares up to fight. But another clever manoeuvre outflanks the aliens, and brings the guns in range. And so the shields come down, and another alien race learns that humans are not to be trifled with. Alien races. You know, you'd think that they'd put a beacon around our sun or something. Do not enter this system. Whatever they call our sun, three, is home to an incredibly adaptable, incredibly warlike species of primitive primates. Do not engage. But anyways, let's finish up. Day one! And so our movie ends with a special recognition for Alex. And not just in metal form. We'll discuss the terms of your surrender over a meal. So then, that was Battleship. And actually, against all the odds, against all the bad reviews, I'm going to put this one into the House of Love. Okay, so let's get the negatives out of the way. You could lose the entirety of the first 40 minutes and not miss a thing. The premise is hackneyed. The idea of a movie based off of Battleship would seem to be ridiculous. And the almost non-existent romance? Not worth it. And then the actual plot kicks in and it is so much better. Once this movie stops trying to make us care about these characters and actually drives the plot, we actually start caring about the characters all the more. Or at least I do. The performances are, in my own opinion, solid, unspectacular, but believable. Taylor Kitsch is slightly bland as a screw-up thrust into command, the entire expendable first 40 minutes or so spent on showing us exactly what an irresponsible idiot he is, before the plot actually kicks in and turns him into a navy hero. And you can't help but feel a sense of camaraderie among these proud sailors, even more so when they roll out the mighty Missouri battleship. In summary, once it gets going, it works. Once you strip away the maudling drama, the hard luck hopper angle, and actually focus on the tense naval battles, it really works. 
It's just a pity that director Peter Berg thought that we needed 40 minutes of chicken burritos and stern father-in-law tropes just to get us there. Because in my opinion, we did not. So yes, I was wrong. I was mistaken. Thank you to patron Andrew Broom for recommending Battleship. I've been Funky Monkey reminding you that for three US dollars a month, you too can sponsor your favourite movie, game or anime for inclusion in my house of love. But for now, that'll be all. Dismissed, sailors!